All right, welcome to We Used to Talk About This at Work. This is our bonus episode. Uh, we'll be talking about Thor, Love, and Thunder. And the guest I have right now, Jared, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. It's my second appearance. Let's do it. All right, so let's just start off. Without uh, many spoilers or anything, just what did you think about it? I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. I was entertained. It's funny. Um... I have a few gripes, but overall, I would I would definitely give it a positive review for sure. What about yeah, you? I agree. I really, I, I agree. I really liked it. Um, I like the comedy aspect of it. Um, yeah, I, if I would have rated, I say a four four out of five, something like that. I thought it was real good. Uh, but now let's get into the spoilers. So go ahead. I see you got stuff on your mind. Go ahead, let it out. Okay, well, first of all, before I get into it, uh, I, I gave it a 7 out of 10. So I do I do the 1 through 10. So that's, okay. I would say that's close to a similar score. But um, I think it's the second best Thor movie. I would put it behind Ragnarok. I just felt like um, it's a lot of comedy in this book. Like, this is basically a comedy, like a pure... I would even say it's like damn near an extreme comedy <laughs> like it's just right. joke 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 like that's that was like my main issue with the movie is like it's so many jokes like not that the jokes are bad like most of them land but at, at certain points I was just like this is literally just complete like just a joke fest which is fine mm -hmm. if that's what you're into but I was looking for more of like um like my favorite Thor is like Infinity War Thor where it's like he's, he's jokey but at the same time it's like it's a balance it's more of a balance between like a little bit of seriousness but he's not taking himself, himself too seriously and this he's just like a straight up goofball like <laughs> right. which is funny it, it works for the most part it works so I'm not complaining necessarily that they went that way but just for me personally I like the like the more balanced floor but again it was still it was still pretty good um what do you think about uh, Christian Bell? I really liked it. Yeah. I really liked this character because it it was like you said there was a lot of comedy in it. Mm -hmm. So then now you had this real. It wasn't like a a joking villain like a Loki or anything else like that. You had a straight serious villain. So I guess maybe that that's the catalyst to the jokes and the comedy. Now you have the serious uh, villain. What was your thoughts about him? uh well first christian bell is awesome i love christian bell he's he pretty much always delivers um and i think for the most part he was uh serious but uh like the scene with the kids i thought he was some of his uh, towards the end i think he even he like started throwing jokes out a little bit like with the um the scene where all the kids are captured and he like he has like a shadow monster that he kills or whatever and he, he kind of jokes around a little bit with that but I kind of get it because it's like he's with the kids or whatever so mm -hmm. I understand that but then like I kind of felt like some of his deliveries it like the way he was delivering his lines was kind of um more leaning towards kind of goofy when like when he had every when he had all three uh Thor Lady Thor and uh, Valkyrie captured he was kind of doing like sort of a um sort of a jokey type of a line delivery and I was just I would I wanted him to keep him completely serious because the rest of the movie is so fun, you know. Like, right. and part of my problem with the movie is that everybody is funny. Literally, every single person in the movie is funny. Like, I get it if Thor is going to be your funny guy, but have Valkyrie be more of the serious person to balance him out. Not saying she can't have right. one-liners or whatever, but I think it's the interaction between the two that should be funny, not both characters being funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, the, oh, this is a Bluetooth speaker. Like, it's just, it, when everybody is funny, it makes everybody less funny. So right. even uh, literally, see that. even the weapons are funny in this movie. The goats are funny. The weapons are funny. The gods are funny. Like, it's just humor, just complete humor. Um, and I just felt like it didn't really have that, uh, the right balance for me to make it better than Thor Ragnarok. So with the, so like I guess going off what you're saying that this is so can Marvel do a movie, a mm -hmm. comedy movie? So do you think like well take this one? Well I guess it's this one. So yeah I was about to so say you're saying that Mar Marvel so do you, do you think Marvel can't just do a comedy movie? Does it always have to be like 
you know, Thor Ragnarok, where it had to be mixture or even some, even um, Guardians of the Galaxy type of stuff where you have some comedy right. characters in it. Uh, I think this basically is that movie. Like, I think this is literally just a comedy. Like, if I, if you told me to pick a genre for this movie, I would say comedy. Not action comedy, like where you put the action first and then it's like sprinkle with comedy. This is literally like a comedy action movie. Like, I would put the comedy part first in this one. So I think that's what they, they basically did here. Like, it, it was, it's good, though. I know it sounds yeah, weird. I, I like the movie, but I don't love it just because at a certain point, I felt like it was too much comedy. Like, too, mm -hmm. too, ma too many things are funny. And there's no, like, levity or, like, I mean, it had drama with everything with Jane and her situation. Um, but even then, it was kind of like, we only had maybe one or two moments where it was, like, legitimately, like, dramatic and, like, heartfelt moments, really, without a joke being thrown into there. Like, and even some of the characters where um, in the past we've seen them like for like Lady Sif when she was like on her deathbed, basically. And Thor has always been kind of um, he's always had like a relationship with her that was like kind of more in, in serious, you know, like a respect for like another warrior type of relationship with her. And then in this movie, she's like on her deathbed and he's like, oh, well, you know, you're not going to, to Ragnarok because you didn't die in battle. That's funny. Like I laughed at that. He's like your arm. He's like your like, arm is. Yes. <laughs> like, I laughed at it, but it's just like, like I just didn't feel like that's like the relationship that he had with her. Like it was just like it felt like it was like oh I can make this a funny line right here in the movie instead of where whereas if I can see if it was like delivered in a way like you know you're really concerned for it you're trying to like uplift her make her feel better while she's really hurting like oh, maybe or I'm going to Valhalla like just the, the you know what I'm saying like the delivery could be right. could be a little bit different to change up the scene but it was just pure comedy for me and I'm more of a fan of the balance and like um give me a little more emotional range uh in the movie and I'll be happier not that I wasn't happy with this but I could have been more happy if it, if it was balanced better no I, I get it uh, I didn't mind the comedy. I enjoyed it. So I guess going off Thor Ragnarok, where mm -hmm. the first Thor, there was that comedy like that. I think, um, what's a, a Jane's friend's name? I forget her name off the top of my head. Um, uh, Darcy. Yeah, Darcy. Like, she brought the comedy herself in that one. But it was more serious. And then Thor Ragnarok, it was like, okay. So it seems like from just the Thor movies, you had it like serious, a little bit of comedy. Then you had Thor Ragnarok, where it was like, all right, we getting there. Are you purposely and then with skipping this one, Thor 2? Huh? Are you purposefully skipping Thor 2? No, I'm saying Thor Thor 2. There was a Thor yeah. 2? The Dark World. It's understandable. That movie is it's rough. Yeah, my mind completely Thor ignored one. that one. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's the one with the Dark Elves. All right, yeah, my mind completely ignored that yeah. one. So, yes, we are skipping that one. <laughs> and then Thor Ragnarok, <laughs> where it's like a lot, a yeah. lot more brighter comedy in there and then with this one they was like we're going straight comedy so yeah who could imagine what thor comedy. five gonna be <laughs> but it's just <laughs> pure comedy like no action right it's just, you're right it's jokes <laughs> it's, just, it's gonna be a stand-up show <laughs> <laughs> right chris hemsworth doing stand-up that's exactly right. what it is but some of the stuff that i did like was um i thought the chemistry between um thor and jane was improved in this movie mm -hmm. because I, I i didn't really feel it in the first three I mean, excuse me, the first two, because she wasn't in the third, but I thought the chemistry was pretty good here. Maybe it was the the long break or the writing. I guess this is this would be her first her first time being written by um, Taika Waititi. So I thought the chemistry was pretty good here. Um, I thought all of the performances was, were pretty good. Um, didn't love Russell Crowe, got to tell you. Didn't love Russell Crowe. And why is that? It's just, it, I, I felt like it was just over, the, like totally over the top. Like you got, so for example, Guardians of the Galaxy, like the whole movie is over the top, right? Mm -hmm. But this was like, in a movie that's already over the top, it was like over the, over, over that top. It was like, crazy. <laughs> I was like, is this, this like a parody of, of a movie when he's on the screen? Like, it was <laughs> crazy to me. Um, I felt like that whole scene was just kind of bananas, you know, like, again, it just goes back to everything being funny, like you can't have a second of the, the I don't think the movie goes more than two two minutes without a joke being thrown in would you say that's mm -hmm. that's about right right 
So Chad, what was your uh, what was your thoughts about the movie? Yeah, I, I'm here now. I don't know how you opened <laughs> this up. Um, overall, I liked it. I um didn't person. So I thought the first Thor was great. I liked the second one because it was funny. I didn't like the third one because it was funny. I feel like this one to me was better than the third one. Um, but it was a lot of jokes and I was hoping that Christian Bell of all people would be the straight man in this movie, but he's over here making jokes sounding like it, the clown and whatnot. And I'm like, what, what are we doing here guys? Um, he, his, his, his whole um, intent was very clear. God's have done nothing but serve themselves. So I will rid the galaxy of them. Totally get it. Why are you making jokes, my guy? Um, but overall, it was fine. Um, good seeing Natalie Portman back in the role. Um, love Tessa Thompson. Really wish um, the rock dude would have died when he got killed, but he didn't die. Um, I really liked it when they explained what the title of the movie was. That was really cute and gave me a good idea for a potential Halloween costume for myself and my daughter. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, like in most media, if there's a halfway decent relationship between a father and his daughter, that stuff just gets me on the verge of tears. And we that didn't hit with Christian Bale and his daughter for me. Right. What about uh, when you at the end? when um thor had the daughter did that make anything happen for you well i I was like this is fun i like this dynamic and then come to find out that's chris hemsworth's real daughter so i was like okay that's that's okay apparently his whole family was in this movie his wife was the wolf lady uh two of his kids were um the asgard kids or something like that some such foolishness his whole family yeah yeah his son was uh played a young thor yeah, and then his other son played one of those random Asgardian kids. Right. And then his brother so, was in the movie, too. Right. So uh, just keep catch you what we were saying is that uh, Jared feels it was just too much comedy on okay. this. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed it. I like the comedy. Because uh, one thing I, cause I try to stay away from spoilers. And one thing that I read, like a day before I seen the movie, where like somebody put on there about how, you know, this is a movie where you just, you know, you take your thinking cap off and you uh, just go and enjoy it. I can't stand and I was people like, saying turn your brain off. Right. So, and I can see, I enjoy the jokes. The wife enjoyed the jokes, but I can see what you're saying if uh, where it's, it's too much. Because, you know, I, I love, for some reason, stupid, I love the goats. <laughs> I love the goats. <laughs> I, I laughed the first time at the, at the goats. And maybe I can't remember, maybe the second time, but like I think when they crashed into like the, the shadow realm planet or whatever, I was just mm-hmm. like, oh, it's just, just <laughs> that's too- yeah. you hit me with the same <laughs> with the same bit again. And I'm I'm so I've been laughing so much that it's just like you're just tired from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but see, uh, another thing I was saying is like, um, I, I don't have a problem with the comedy, but I feel like it, it shouldn't be everybody making the jokes. It should be like your select few funny people who make the jokes. And then you have um, your less funny people who interact with the funny people and it makes it a funny situation. As yeah, opposed like, to, like Jane. Uh, every, Jane should be exactly, a straight person exactly, as well exactly. as Christian Bale. Exactly. As opposed to when you have everybody just throwing jokes out. That was that was like my problem with Age of Ultron. I felt like Tony Stark like wrote the dialogue for every character in that movie. That's funny. Um, but here, um, the Korg thing you brought up where he, where it, it seems like he died when Zeus, you know, thunderbolt to him, but he, he is not dead. His face can talk. Like, give me a moment where he's dead and like, they like use that as, as motivation. Like, because yeah, Korg, like, you know, like, yeah, give like, me some drama, you know, like that, that's the type of balance I'm looking for. Not that I wanted him to die, but that's just an example of what I'm looking for. But also movies especially mcu movies they don't show stakes yeah and it's like okay cool a random guy we've never seen or heard of was killed at the beginning of this movie okay no one and then like he's funny by the way right 
And then it's like, you see <laughs> like the aftermath of what he's been doing, but it's like, I, sometimes you want to be like, oh man, this person that, you know, the hero is fighting, they could die. We know the hero is not going to die, but like, I would like to just be reassured that this villain is not messing around. Like I want to, well, okay. That was Zeus killing the person, but still like, I, I want to see somebody right. fall. Right. Yeah, we, it's, it's nothing even close to that in this movie. Yeah. It doesn't even feel like it would be either. Like right from the get go, you kind of know what you're in for in this movie. Um, I, uh, one thing I th- what you guys think about Guardians of the Galaxy at the beginning? Uh, it was fine for me. Um, it was just like a cameo, basically, like a, um, a kind yeah. of stretched out cameo. I don't know. Stuff like that just makes me feel like what if? Because like if you guys remember a few years ago, they fired James Gunn because of those tweets. Yeah. And originally, the Thor was supposed to be in Guardians three, but they had to reshuffle everything because they fired James Gunn. And right. so this movie came out before Guardians 3. So then he's just like, they're just a cameo instead of him being a star in their movie. Which I would love to see, by the way. Yeah. I feel like that could, that had potential to be crazy, like crazy funny. And yes, like that's, and that's I where, like, that's where this version of Thor that we have now belongs with the Guardians, yeah, not this stuff. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Like I think th- the thing that I thought was like, it was just a cameo, but then. I kind of felt like it made them look weak. Mm, yes, 100%. I think, yeah, because I think the movie was right. on that for sure. Because, yeah, when they were all struggling and all of a sudden, he's just like, all right, let me just go ahead and do it. And everything was fine. It was kind of like, uh, okay. And then he just goes off about his business. I just felt like they made the Guardians look weak. And, yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's he's literally a god. So, you know, it's like with him on, with him on your team, it's just like he is the team. That's the easy mode. God, right. literal God mode. Yeah, literally. Right. What y'all think of yeah. the after credit scenes? Uh, let's see. We had the Zeus one. Uh, I thought that was I thought that was an interesting scene, just because you know of the mythology of it all. Um, but I, it wasn't like mind blowing. And then the other one. What was the other one? Uh, well, then that one we we got that introduction to uh to Hercules. Her- excuse me. That's what I meant to say. I meant to say Hercules. My bad um that's the one that i i, I like that one i thought it was fine and what was the other one i can't remember uh jane, jane Warner. goes a- oh yeah into valhalla it, it was fine you know just a little uh it was cool to see heimdall i guess but yeah. you know just kind of a standard sort of a post credit scene i didn't think i thought they were better than the dr strange um post credit scenes with the bruce campbell and then the oh then um charlie uh, Theron. yeah so, like, as somebody who's not familiar with all this stuff, so is usually these um, prelude to other stuff. So, what is this Valhalla stuff with Jane and everything going going to lead to? In the comic books, she basically that happened. She died from her cancer, and she went to Valhalla, and they was like, "Hey, man, you don't have to stay here if you don't want to." So she went back to Earth as a um, Valkyrie. Oh, uh, okay. Now, how are they, how is Hercules going to play into this now? Who knows? Thor, point. Thor five. There, he he's on a mench, on a mission, a I, mission I like, of comedy. I like the idea. <laughs> I do like the idea of uh, having Hercules uh, after Thor. I think that has that, that sounds good to me. I will watch it. I mean, I will watch it either way, just because it's the MCU movie. But I, I like it. What about you, Matt? I have no expectations. I'm I'm just waiting to see what what's going to happen. Um, uh, but like the thought of Hercules, uh, like you said, going get Thor. All right, I need to see this. But now I'm thinking about the whole thing. Yeah, we don't need him to be doing comedy. <laughs> oh, he will be. If this is yeah, right. a movie at this rate, he, he'll literally just be <laughs> he'll be running a comedy school or something like. <laughs> It's crazy how much comedy is in this movie. But um, do you have any final thoughts before we roll out of here, Jared or Matt? Uh, yeah, I thought the uh, I thought everything uh, about gore, like aesthetically, was was top notch. Like the black and white, uh, even when 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 they went to the shadow realm, is that what it was? Shadow realm, right? Sure. Yeah, I think <laughs> so. they went to his his uh, his his place, his area, when it was all in black and white. I thought that was sick. Um, very very cool to see that 
uh, you don't really see too much stuff like that where it's like one character his presence or like that area affects the way everything looks and everybody there so i thought that was really dope um and i like the way his mouth just looks like black inky yeah inky mess with teeth on top like, <laughs> I, I, love all of, I love all of that so i thought they did a great job of that yeah overall i liked it you should definitely go see it i'll leave it as that yeah i agree it's um it's, it's it's worth a trip to the theater you don't need to wait to disney plus it's a fun time one quick thing that i wanted to add was i feel like um at the at this point in the MCU, I've, well, first of all, I'm a huge MCU fan, so I'm I'm like a top MCU fan. So it's not that I don't like the MCU, but at this point, it's like I feel like we're starting to retread some things, and I'm kind of worried like about where everything is going because I feel like in this movie, like even with the sword, <clears throat> the Necro Sword or whatever it's called, it's like you it, you touch it, it corrupts you. Like we just got that with the Dark Hole. Um, mm. You know, we got um, in this movie, we got uh, another play from uh, the Asgardians. And I get that it's like a tourist attraction, things that they put a play on. But like we already saw that in Thor Ragnarok. And it was funnier in Thor Ragnarok. You got the final scene um, in uh, when they reach eternity or whatever. And it's like he opens the door and you go to like the watery, the watery yeah. ground place. Yeah. It's just like the Infinity War Soul Stone place. It's just brighter, you know, so it's just like. I want to start to see some new things, like new ideas, new visuals um, going forward in the MCU. But I still got faith in Kevin Feige, so I'm not too worried. But I just saw some concerning things in this movie. So that was it. I feel like some of those set piece type things are not really his purview. Mm -hmm. And like he's he's probably like just big picture. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially now because he's like. He's he's doing Star Wars and right a bunch of TV shows, so it's like I feel like he's he's getting stretched out. So he's getting stretched out, you know. Um, his, he's got his hands in so many different things now that like maybe the attention to detail that he used to have is like maybe he's just like, uh, okay, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I got other stuff to right. do, type of thing. So that reminds me, like one thing I really don't care for is like how we're at a point in these MCU movies where it's like nothing's tangible. So like, oh man, my helm, my my mask or my helmet is like nanotechnology or whatever. And it just fades in and out. And so when we saw Jane Foster Thor, I was like, oh snap, look at that cool headpiece. And then it just disappeared. I was like, you you, you can't just pull it off your head. It's got to fade in and fade out. Yes. (laughs) It's it's just a helmet. Yeah. It's just magic nanotech. Well, I guess with them it would be magic or something like right. So yeah. it's just like I miss phase one. I totally where like you know you got all those you know all the the things the windy things around um, Iron Man's helmet before he could take it off. You know like stuff like I, that. I always talk about how if you go back and look at the first Iron Man when he's like when he finalizes the suit or like uh, when he's sitting in a donut. The suit looks so good. It's like bulky. It's kind of like yeah. It's it's it feels real, you know. And now it's just I don't it's, even know if they have practical suits now. They parts of it are practical because like um actually funny story the masks aren't real. So like yeah, did yeah. you have you guys seen any like the behind the scenes footage for uh No Way Home? Yeah, I've seen mm-hmm. I've seen all the uh VFX breakdowns and all that. Yeah. Those their Spider Man masks are CGI yeah so every time they're going to put on their mask they're literally like have a hand of nothing and then they're just putting it over their head like this for yeah. you know the zoom people oh. and like then they'll just cgi it later and then it's like that's what they do in most cases nowadays and it's yeah, like even, mm. even with the stand-in suits where they they have the practical suit is it'll just be like from the chest up for like a certain shot and then even then they'll just like do a digital double of like a, a cg suit like they just use that um that stock footage or like that raw footage that they shot of the practical suit and just use it as a reference so like they still even cgi over that so Mm. but that's where we are sadly yeah thank you so much jared and um welcome to some bonus episodes matt this is your second one look at you yeah i appreciate it (laughs) i mean it was your idea i'm learning it was your idea and you spearheaded it i'm i'm late (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah 
because last night when once you guys said you watched it i was like oh wait is it out here in japan and it was and i was like oh we should do it do a bonus episode get this content out for the people let's do it <laughs> 